to the Democratic race for governor and Maura Healy's nomination. Chris Tanaka is at the Healy Victory Party in Boston. And Chris, she has the chance now to become the first woman ever elected governor in Massachusetts. Absolutely, David. And tonight's uh, campaign event, largely academic, because she was running essentially unopposed. Also, she's trying to become just the second Democrat elected as governor in the state since 1990. And she's trying to do so with what she says is a populist message, appealing to workers' rights. The event held here at the IBEW Local 103 in Dorchester. Women's reproductive rights, parents' educational rights for their kids, transportation, of course, uh, a big calling card on her stump. She's done so without having to fend off another candidate. She's gotten the message out repeatedly. She got the message out in a 10-minute speech tonight. And she also took aim at not one or two, but three prominent Republicans because this thing was done so early. Jeff Deal and Chris Doty will put us on a different path. They'll bring Trumpism to Massachusetts. And they've both already said they'll support Donald Trump in 2024. I don't know about you, but I am tired of the anger, the vitriol, the division. That's not who we are. That's not what Massachusetts is all about. I want a different path. My path is one of optimism, working together with urgency and intention to get things done. And the Healy campaign doubled, uh, doubling down tonight, already issuing a statement attaching deal to President, former President Trump. David Elisa, just nine weeks until Election Day on November 8th. The battle lines have been drawn here in Massachusetts. We're live in Dorchester. Chris Tanaka, WBZ News. It will be an interesting 60 days or so. Chris Tanaka, thank you.